Little Villa FC back in action. The season opener tonight at home, taking on the Dutch Lions out of Dayton. Spirited crowd on hand to witness the match. And just over three minutes in, visitors on the attack. Joe Quadio stops, shoots, and scores as Dayton seizes the early 1 0 lead. But two minutes later, Toledo with an answer. Zach Mocha, the Anthony Wayne grad, over to Zach Hassel. Lions goalie gets a hand on it, but not enough to stop it. And Hassel, the Florida native, ties it up at one apiece. Stays that way till early in the second. Elias Shope plays it ahead to Mike Moser. Ball free in the box, deflects in. Toledo goes up two to one. Brendan Graves and the defense making it stand as the Perrysburg product strong in net. 2-1 the final score. Toledo Villa FC back at home on Wednesday hosting the South Bend Lions. Chris Black caught up with Hassel, as we said, a Florida native, playing up north this summer and excited over the result and how the game began. First five, ten minutes of the game, oh, we were all over and was able to get him behind, put him under real quick, was able to, boys did well. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. All right, so... You had a love-hate relationship with the goal today. You worked a whole lot of it. T tell us about how do you keep going in that mentality like that, you know, get get, get the goal today and then, then go again in the next game. I feel like you just got to keep your mind on straight, got to focus on the bigger picture. Mistakes happen. It's just life. You just got to keep going. With more from Paul Hopmer Field, we bring back Chris Black along with Mason Lowry, who were on the call for this afternoon's contest. Well, a great way for Toledo Villa to open up their second season in USL League 2. A 2-1 win over Dayton Dutch Lions. The only disappointment, maybe, is that it was only 2-1, if not for an outstanding performance from the post behind the Dayton Dutch Lions keeper. Yeah, we're going to measure those after the game. We'll make sure it's set next next week, right size next week. But, yeah, you left a lot of goals on the field. But at least you know how good you can be, and you're not going to – you're not plateauing. You can put a lot more up, and a Dayton Dutch Lions are probably pretty excited about Yeah, they were in the game all the way to the end. They really weathered a storm. Really, really weathered a storm. One of our big questions coming into this season, how does Villa replace Canada Santos, their leading scorer from last year, an absolute magician on the ball? Well, Zach Hassel, not exactly the same type of player as Canada Santos was, but boy, was he fun to watch out on the left flank. Yeah, he really was. A lot of speed, a lot of pace, really drove at that back line, and, and his motor kept going almost to the end. I mean, yeah, he started to slow down, but the runs were relentless. Um, and, and, the, and the will to keep, keep shooting. I mean, he had some failures on shooting, but he was so close, but he kept going, believed in himself. So you know that's a score. I mean, he believes he's going to score, and he's going to keep going all season long. What do you think would constitute a good, successful year for Villa? They struggled down the stretch last year. They won just one of their last 11 games. They've made a real point of trying to be stronger in depth this year. Hopefully this is a team that can be in the mix for the division title come the end of the year. Well, I think that it, that is a success because they were on fire for so long and the hot, cold, hot, cold. So it, it's not a big deal probably to them as if they do really, really well but still have a couple slip-ups here and there. That's not a big deal. Can they get just a consistently, you know, four really good games, one or two maybe off? They'd probably be happy with that and then try to peak at the tail end of the year, get, get really going right at the end of the season, and that would be probably a phenomenal year for them. That's all from us. Toledo Villa opens the season with three big points. Back to you.